Right then, let's have a look at this. Old school Japanese dokudogu mono, uh, carpenter's tools and things. Um, now, what I could do is like part this out individually and make quite a bit of money out of it. Uh, but I've got a lot of stuff I've got to do. Like, I've got to deal with like all that. <laughs> and therefore, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll uh, I'll throw it up on a uh, an auction type of situation. Um, now, I plan to send it via sea mail, which can take anywhere between six weeks and three months. So, only for the patient. Um, I mean, don't contact me after two months and have a grizzle, you know, because I'll just tell you to go and buy some tissues. Because, I mean, once it gets out of my hands, it's on the sea, in some container somewhere, in on some ship somewhere. Alright, so... You know, be prepared to wait for three months, uh, and if you're not, don't buy it. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is, it'll come with this wooden box, old school, and what I'll do is I'll make up a piece of wood um, to, to fit in here, and I guess what you could do later on down the track is uh, maybe whack a couple of hinges on it, I'm guessing, and, and there you go, you have a little lid something on those lines. Now, let's get into this. As I say, uh, you know, I have to send it by sea because it's really heavy. We're talking about 25 kilos because um, I've got to put that bit of wood on there too. So, right, that'll be, um, that'll be the best way to go about it. Okay, now let us get into this. Uh, some old school kana, you know, the planes. You know, some of them have a bit of cracking in them. Um, if you clean up the blades and all, you'll find that be nice and sweet, nice and sweet pieces. Some of them are, are in uh, good nick. This one's got cracking. Um, let's have a look at this one here. All right, this one's all right. You could use, you could sharpen that blade up there. Bit of a nick in there, um, but otherwise that's that's good. Uh, let's see now another old school one. Subby, subby, very rusty, very rusty. Uh, these type of things are utilised for like the shoji, the um, the sliding door panel system down the bottom. You have those uh, rails and runners, and uh, they'd use these to to uh, sort that out. These are these are very cool indeed. There's quite a number of those types in there. And a big old cunner here. Actually, surprisingly, this one's the best one and it's in the best condition it's uh you see the the blades are right it's just rusty you uh, kind of polish that up and you'll find this is really quite quite a long piece and they're generally you know that would be worth what I'm asking for the entire lot it's just freight's going to be freight's the major issue here this one here has actually had a repair this one here, that looks to be pretty cool. Yeah, it's an old school one right there. Alright, got another one of those groovy shoji styles. This is a, another cool, cool looking piece in good nick. Bits and pieces. Another kind of there. And there's some old school type here. Another one here. So a lot of them are really old school. This is good nick. Now yeah, I'm sure you have a enjoyable time going through all this and polishing them up and, and making them look nice and spick and span. So cool looking units in there. Too. A friend of mine asked me to get hold of, um, I think there's a, a really cool thing in here. I I can find. No, there's a tiny little cunner right there. There's just one in here that's, that's even smaller. There's one in here that's there. It is <laughs> cool, look at that. And a mini, mini cunner. Polish her up. And, uh, isn't that cute? Right. So, uh, a couple of those.
type of chisely thing there. A friend of mine asked me to get hold of some chisels, so chisels came in with this, and uh, what I did was I extracted those. These are going to be used. My buddy wants these, so uh, we're going to. I'm going to make a deal with him about that. So that's a separate thing. That's mine. So I figured I'll sell all this stuff off pretty cheap. Uh, it'd be nice to nice to resurrect this stuff, clean it up, and make it look good. I might throw an air hose over some of this stuff prior to packing it. And there you are. So that's that. I'll put it up. I'll put it up a starting price real cheap. And uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of work to do here. Um, I just haven't got the time. Uh, and that's just that. Okay, that will be that. Uh, stay tuned. Oh, pardon me. Oh, burping. That must have been the last, last one to be. Ah, that crow's back. Can you hear that? This crow calls to me all the time. So I can give him some food. He recognises this machine. Here he is. Hang on, he'll be over here somewhere. There he goes. He's, uh, he's had a delightful rice meal today. <laughs> And, uh, alright, that's that. We've got this special call. And we call each other all the time. Okay, so that's that. Um, right, so as you can see, you know, a lot of the cunner aren't in perfect condition. But you will find, once you, uh, once you clean this one up, you'll probably sell this one off, um, you know, and get your money back. So, yeah, because that's a, that's a nice piece right there. So, there you are. Okie kokie, I'm going to go and uh, do something now. I might uh, go to my mate's place and see if he's got some beer in the fridge. Alright, see you later.